look what I have. Oh my goodness. Hello guys, it's me Danielle Dandy Buttons and I'm here with the newest Camellia Angelcova. Hot off the presses, this just came out. 50 prehistoric miniatures. This one has been on my wish list for a long time and I'm so excited to show it to you. A dinosaur themed coloring book featuring 50 lovely illustrations of cute tiny dinosaurs, funny prehistoric animals, quirky plants, fairy doors, and much more. Let's get right into our flip. You know I'm one of Camellia's biggest fans. This book belongs to Paige with our cover dino and then our cover page as usual. I'm not well versed on my dino names so I'm not going to be trying to name any of them but I probably will end up trying to name some because I know myself so pterodactyl the little ones. I love it. I love the idea of the dinosaurs because you can totally do whatever colors you want since we don't really know. Like they might have all been color covered in feathers and that's devastating to me to think that they're all just prehistoric birds. I'm not a bird girl so <sighs> Spike. It all reminds me of the Land Before Time movies so that might be how I base some of mine. Like they're so so cute and obviously I just love her style so much. It lends so well to anything that she draws. This one does not have too, too many sceneries, which I'm not the biggest fan of the scenery, so I'm glad about that, but it has a few. Ah! I love this. The little bone in the hair. Underwater critters, always my personal fave. My pages are a little bit stuck at the top, but that's obviously an Amazon thing and it's not a big deal. Prehistoric stork, pretty cool. Oh my goodness, it's so, so cute. I can just see all the bright colors. We have our, our usual suspects in here too. So our mice and now our bunnies. I like their accessories. Like, are you kidding? That's so adorable. Little T-Rex. Little slide moment. Hopefully I'm in screen. I feel like my monopod is moving, so I'm not sorry. What? <laughs> she Oh, I guess to make sure that she doesn't fly away. She might be tied up a little bit. Interesting. We have another scene, but again, it's not it's only a few, so it's good for me. You'll have to let me know what you guys think though. Wooly Mammoths. Sabertooth Tiger. It also obviously gives me Flintstones vibes because they live among them in Flintstones. So you could totally make some of these based on Flintstone characters. I think that would be fun. Oh, a little wedding scene. Oh, so cute. That would be good for February somebody new. Oh my goodness. Those are some dinosaurs that can get really big. So I wonder who's in that big boy. Dreaming. A nice little swing. Oh, I love that so much. Taking a nap. Oh. These books are just such a great value. There's so many pages in here and I think there's are they still $5? They might be $6 now. But like, come on. For this many pages, that's still a crazy deal. Bow ties. Aw. Snacking. This would be a fun random Easter page. I feel like I used to know the name of this guy and I don't remember. Even her fish, though, are kind of repeat characters. I think she sneaks them into every book. Party tree. Another cute love one. Oh, looks like they're eating, like, popcorn and watching it. Why does it keep sliding? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mama and baby situation. Oh, another bird type fella. More Easter. Interesting. Ooh, they're gonna eat that bug. <laughs> Flower picking. 
yeah, I don't know what this head style is. Some some of them definitely did have it, at least in the Land Before Time movies. Like parasailing, so cute. Uh-oh, that's bad news. <laughs> oh, and then maybe we're in the future and our mice are looking them up. Oh, no. <laughs> did we just find a story arc in here? Uh-oh, uh-oh, hold on. Yeah, we might have found the end of the dinosaurs and then all of our little critters looking them up in the future. So, yeah, and then obviously at the back, she always has all of her lists. And let me see if I'm right. One, two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen. 5, 10, 15. I thought there were 14. So there's even more. That means that there are, oh, and this one. Is this, in, no, this one's in here. Which one am I missing? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anyway, if there's 15, that means there are 750 miniatures for us to color. So that's pretty crazy. And obviously all the rest of her books, I'm such a huge fan anymore about the author. So yeah, let me know if you're picking this one up. I'll have the link down below. I love it so much. I'm just gonna, again, put my future guesses out there because I think it's fun and sometimes they're gonna be right and then I feel special. So I still think we need a mythical miniatures I think we can do another black background and it could be outer space miniatures. And I feel like those are my two next big guesses. But let me know, are you gonna pick this one up? Have you been waiting for the dinosaurs? I know a few of us have been waiting and I can't believe two months in a row with brand new miniature books. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you again soon with something new. Bye friends.